Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy and today we're going to be doing some really fun little hobby things. So today is Sunday, it is Sunday evening, like 5.30 p.m. and I had, I feel like a full day today. I did my grocery shopping and now I'm just going to settle in with some fun hobbies. The first thing that I am going to be doing is something that I have been wanting to do for a really long time actually and I am like the self-proclaimed queen of picking up a hobby, becoming obsessed and like hyper-focused for like a month and then dropping it and never picking it up ever again. So I have been looking at this hobby for like a year now and I wanted to give myself some time to be like, okay, if I'm still wanting to do this like a year from now or six months from now, then I'll buy all the stuff for it because it can be a really, really expensive hobby. You're probably wondering, well, what is this hobby? What are we going to be doing today? We are going to be building a custom keyboard. Ah, I am so excited for this. I've been wanting to do this for so long. I finally got all of the things in today. I didn't order enough switches, so I had to make another order and that just came in today. This is the Ajaz AK820 Pro. It is a 75% mechanical keyboard, which means it doesn't have the 10 key on this side, like 100% keyboard will be like full size with the 10 key here. So this is going to be my new work keyboard. Okay, so I do work with like Excel spreadsheets and data calculations, all of that, like most of my days during work. So I did buy a separate 10 key but that's also like Bluetooth compatible. So I can just Bluetooth both of these to my work computer and if you're thinking, why didn't I just buy a full 100% keyboard? Like, why did I buy a 75% and then a separate 10 key? It's because I travel for work like once a month and I like to bring my keyboard with me to use in the office. And I think traveling with a full size keyboard is gonna be a little bit difficult. So I wanted for like ease of packing, I just wanted a small keyboard and then a little 10 key that's separate. So this is the base that we're going to be using. And then for the switches, we're going to be using the Epo Maker Jade Blossom switches. And these are linear switches. So this is what they look like in the box. Um, I think there are like 80 switches on the keyboard and each of these is a pack of 30. So I have three packs of these. And then for keycaps, this is like the most fun part. I am so obsessed with the keycaps that I got. These ones are from, okay, they're from John Kiss. I'll put the brand on the screen. They are so cute. They're white. They have little like blue and red. They're like weather keycaps. Um, I'll do like a close up of these so we can see them. But this is seriously the most fun part about building a keyboard. I'm so excited and nervous because I know that it's going to be a slippery slope and I'm going to want to build like so many more keyboards after this. Okay, so here are the keycaps. Super, super cute. And then there's also a, another layer under this with a little bit more variety. Like, look how cute these are. And then it also comes with a keycap puller there. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm so excited. So I know that building custom keyboards is a really niche hobby and that not everyone is going to understand the fascination behind it, which is totally fine. Obviously, everyone has different interests and hobbies, but seriously, just go onto TikTok or YouTube and search up creamy keyboard builds. And once you watch a few videos, you will be hooked. Seriously, like you cannot go back to using a regular stock keyboard again after experiencing a custom build. 
Okay, so I finished putting in all of the switches onto the keyboard. This keyboard is compatible with three and five pin switches, which I think is pretty standard. These ones are three pin, I believe, so just make sure that everything is lining up when you're putting the switches in. And then for the keycaps, they are laid out in the box exactly how they would be on the keyboard, but if you have any doubts, then you can totally just pull up a picture of a keyboard and reference that while you're putting on the keycaps. I bought this crystal ball keycap separately and it was a little bit wobbly and hard to secure onto the switch, so I'm probably not going to travel with this when I go for work. All right, she is done. I am hoping and praying that I put on all of the keys correctly. It is so cute. So these are all of the function buttons up here. We have a little knob here. Um, I changed the backspace, enter, shift, and the space bar to be like the colorful ones. They're super cute. These little arrows are so cute. We have like this little screen here. And yeah, oh, I also got this like crystal ball keycap here for the escape button, but it is so cute. And the sound is amazing. So for reference, this is the keyboard that I usually use for work. It's the Logitech Logit Pop, I believe, and this is what it sounds like. And then also for reference, I have the Corsair K70, and this one has the Gateron Blue switches, so this is what this one sounds like. So we just finished with the keyboard and the little 10 key. I kept the same keycaps theme through both of them and they are so, so cute. I didn't have enough of the Jade Blossom switches to put on the 10 key. I only had like this much left. So when I bought this keyboard it was already fully assembled but i wanted to take out all of the switches and the keycaps and do it myself so i had a whole bunch of these um i think it's the ajaz flying fish switches so i put these on the 10 key and it's really funny because like when i first got the keyboard i was like oh the flying fish switches are actually like pretty good like they sound really creamy but now that i'm listening to them the flying fish ones and the jade blossom ones side by side you can really hear the difference so again these are the jade blossom switches and then these are the flying fish switches so the sound profile is a lot higher on this one and then this one's a lot lower I definitely prefer this one for like everyday typing. Hello, it is the next day, but we're still doing our fun little hobby things. So the next one that I wanna talk about is paint by numbers. Now I have been doing paint by numbers on my iPad, but just something about having like a physical one is so fun. So this is the one that I have been working on recently. It actually looks really good in the camera up close. It's not so good. I'm gonna blame it on my zero artistic abilities and also like you don't really get the best quality brushes. Um, I just got my kits from Amazon. It came in a pack of six and I thought that they would be super cute. Like after I finish them, I could maybe hang them up as decor because I love the colors. It is so cute. So this one is actually almost done. And I really want to start on another one later. But yeah, if you don't know what paint by numbers is, it basically, it comes as like a blank picture and like each little thing is numbered and the numbers correspond with a color of paint so then you just paint like all of the things that are number one you paint with this color all of the things that are number two you paint with this color and 
it turns out into like a really cute picture. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for like the next hour or so. Every weekend, I like to set aside at least half a day, if not a full day dedicated to just doing my hobbies. Work recently for me has been really busy, like working 12, 13 hour days sometimes, so I don't really have time to do my hobbies during the week, so it's really nice to have something to look forward to on the weekends. I think painting will probably be a rotating hobby for me, like crocheting, but gaming and reading are my staple hobbies. Okay, so we are ending the night off with my favorite cozy hobby, which is gaming. Cozy games is such a good way to like wind down after a long day. And I have been playing a few different ones. So the one that I'm gonna be playing tonight is called Cornucopia and it is a 2D farming sim. It's like 2d 3d it's like it looks like paper mario but it's really cute i played the demo on steam but i just bought the full version because it was so cute and then i've also been playing last epoch which i don't know if that would count as a cozy game it's kind of like lost ark it is an arpg i think and it's basically like there's magic you can choose your class so i chose at first i chose acolyte and then i didn't like it so i made a rogue character if you've played lost ark before you would probably like it last epoch is kind of like that but it's a lot less grindy and then I was also playing Little Known Galaxy, which is another farming sim, but you are on a spaceship. It's kind of like Wally, -E, where like all the humans are like living on a spaceship. So you're the captain and you have to like explore different worlds and like grow different plants and basically you just like run your ship and it's super cute. I'm gonna play Cornucopia for probably like the next hour or so. It's like 9 45 right now. I do have work tomorrow so I can't stay up too too late. Okay so this is what Cornucopia looks like. It is so cute. Like you have a little doggy. This is my house my farm i have a barn there we go okay i have a barn with a little cow it's so cute and then i also have a chicken coop over here and i have my one little chicken back here it's really interesting because you don't buy the animals like at an animal store they have an auction house where it's like they auction livestock so basically like when i was buying my cow i was like in a bidding war against one of the npcs and i eventually won obviously but yeah that so that's like something that's really unique to this game i think another thing is that so you have this little like composting bin here and you can put weeds in it and it gives you compost and you can change the composition of the soil like if you see like this soil patch is like a light brown and then the ones over here are gray it's because they have different compositions so some of them will have like more phosphates some will have more nitrates and then certain plants grow better in certain soil conditions um, so that's really interesting and then you can also like play fetch with your dog and you can go into his house and It's just super cute. And this is my mailbox and I have a shed over here But yeah, it's called cornucopia. It's on steam for $30. I think um, But it's super cute. I love 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 farming sims and this one has like some things that are more unique to it that I really love Setting the ambiance for my cozy gaming night Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending some hobby time with me this weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye!